guys and welcome to my refrigerator deep clean plus grocery haul i went to sam's club and picked up some snack foods and stuff like that for the kids and i really needed to deep clean this fridge because it's been a little while since i pulled everything completely out and deep cleaned it I thought no better time than right now. It is spring cleaning time and it is definitely needed. So we are gonna be tackling all of that in today's video. So if you are in need of some serious cleaning motivation, then you clicked on the right video. But before we hop into all this cleaning motivation, I did first wanna say that this video is sponsored by Built. So thank you so much Built for sponsoring this video. And before I get started on my cleaning, I am gonna be eating one of my favorite protein bars. This is the peanut butter brownie. You guys, this is so delicious. It is like a dessert. And I just got back from a workout, so it is the perfect time to get in my protein. And what I love about these is the macros on them are amazing. So this one is 180 calories, three fat, 21 carbs, but the net carbs are way less because there's seven grams of fiber and eight sugar alcohol so your net carbs are super low and the protein is 19 grams so this is the perfect pick-me-up snack perfect post-workout snack i absolutely love these bars they do come in 18 different flavors you guys definitely need to check them out they are honestly the best they are so fudgy and delicious i do have a discount code forbes 15 you can save 15 percent off of your order so be sure to head down to my description and check out that link but without further ado, we're gonna hop into all this cleaning motivation. I'm gonna start off with just the side door, all the sauces. I need to go through, see if there's any empty bottles, any expired stuff. I'm sure we have quite a few expired things because it's been a while since I pulled everything out. So I'm just gonna quickly make sure everything in there is up to date. that I have gone through everything and threw out the expired foods I'm gonna go in with my bio erase wipes these are anti back wipes but they are all natural so it makes me feel more comfortable about using them in the refrigerator I feel like I often neglect my refrigerator especially this side door where all the sauces are I really don't like pulling everything out but I really do try to do this at least every six months or so what about you guys? How often do you pull everything out and just clean your refrigerator? Oh 
that it's nice and clean, I can go ahead and start putting everything back. I went ahead and rearranged it a little bit just to fit common items together. And I couldn't believe how much I threw away. I actually have some extra space now on the side door, which is really nice. we are going to do the main part of the refrigerator I was blown away by how much food we had in here you don't realize how much is in your fridge until you pull it all out and you're like holy cow I can't believe all of that is in the refrigerator but it's really nice when you pull it out because then you can really see if anything is bad or how much is in there that needs to be thrown out so it's always nice to pull everything out. I do do the main section of the fridge more often than the side door, mainly because this is the part of the fridge that is often getting messed with and unorganized. So I love to go in here and just rearrange things to make it easier to find. As you guys will see at the end of this video, we did a Sam's Club haul, which the groceries are already picked up. I did the haul before I recorded me cleaning the refrigerator, but I really had to go get the kids some snacks for school because they are back to school now. They had their spring break. We went and visited our Nana and we had a great time. We only stayed for two days, but it was so nice just to get away and go visit some family for a little bit. I'd love to know if you guys did anything over your spring break or if you haven't had spring break yet, what plans do you have? I'm just still mind blown that we are getting so close to summer. Like I can't believe this year is almost over. It is so crazy and it's crazy to think that I have been back on YouTube for an entire year now. I hit one year at the end of February. so. I have really been reflecting on just this last year and all the growth I've had and all the connections I've made. And I just want you guys to know how much I truly love and appreciate every single one of my subscribers. You guys mean so much. I truly love making YouTube videos and connecting with you guys. So just wanted to tell you how appreciative I am and I've just been reflecting on the last year. I'd love to know something that you are thankful for in the last year. Even though I know last year was kind of a crappy one with the shutdown and everything, but there's always something to be thankful for. So I would love to know what's one thing you guys are thankful for. that the fridge is all nice and clean I can finally put everything back I always struggle organizing the refrigerator I just can't seem to find the perfect way that I like I really would love to get some sort of clear containers to put the canned drinks so that is hopefully gonna come soon because I really love those can organizer things and I think they look really cute in the refrigerator so I've been on the lookout for those and hopefully I can get this fridge more organized in how I want it to look. 
tried sometimes, but you're making me nervous. Now I've realized that I can't live without you. To prep my fruits and veggies I have just some mushrooms I have two things of mushrooms these I want to go ahead and chop up so I can have them for breakfast I love putting mushrooms in my eggs I just have a little bit of grapes left so I'm gonna go ahead and wash those get them in a container and then I have blackberries and strawberries so I'm just going to take a bowl with some cool water I soak them just for 30 seconds using this is the veggie wash I've been using. I really do love it, but you really do have to be careful not to use too much because it does leave a lime taste. So a little forewarning if you guys try this out. I found this at, I believe it was H-E-B or Walmart. And these are my food saving containers. They honestly work amazingly. They are definitely worth investing in. I believe it was like $40 for the entire set, but it really does keep them fresher for so much longer. We're gonna quickly prep this before Ethan wakes up. For my strawberries, I'm just putting them into a bowl of water as I'm prepping them and cutting the stems off. And then I will add the veggie wash afterwards just to make sure I don't soak them for too long. And then for my mushrooms, I'm just going to rinse them because it even says it on the bottle not to use it for mushrooms because mushrooms are super porous and they will just absorb all of that flavor. So I just run my mushrooms through some water. Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down And excuse my super full sink of dishes because the kids did not do the dishes last night so I told them when they got home from school they were doing the dishes that is why they're overflowing <laughs> So, in case you guys are wondering why my sink is super full. Even if the sky is falling down.
you guys seem to like my last grocery haul, so I thought I'd show you guys what I picked up from Sam's Club today. So I told you guys I love these chicken tenderloins, so I got almost four pounds of it for $12.49. I got some grass-fed ground beef. If I can, I prefer to get grass-fed and it's organic. So I got three pounds for $15. Of course, my kid's favorite, Nutella. Picked up some Oreo cookies for the kids for school. I had to get another one of these jackets. If you guys saw, it was in a light pink. So I went ahead and picked up this gray one. I believe it was only $10 and it retails for $49.50. So they have one other color, which if they still have them, the next time I go, I might get that one. It's like a deeper pink. It's really pretty too. Then I picked up the kids some chips. I got a big bag of these potatoes. I love these potatoes, especially in the air fryer. Super good. I went ahead and got the pods this time. I've really been liking the pods. They've been leaving my clothes smelling really good. And I got 168 of them. And they were on sale for $29. So it's expensive, but it says it will last six months. We'll see. <laughs> I got another big thing of beef jerky. This was $12, they were on sale. I got tortillas for the kids' cheesy roll-ups, bread, my liquid egg whites. I love getting this from Sam's because you get six cartons for only $8. Got some more snacks for the kids' lunches. Picked up some more of these, I ran out. I love keeping one of these plugins in the laundry room where the cat litter box is. And I'm also gonna start putting one in the boys' room because every time I change Ethan's diapers, it leaves that room so smelly. So I'm gonna put one of those in there too. And then I got Ethan the fruit and veggie um, apple sauces and some um, like different flavored apple sauces. And these were new, I've never seen them before. It said they were made with organic um, oat flour, I believe is what it said. So we're gonna give these a try. Hopefully they're good. I got them for Ethan as like a grab and go snack. And then I also picked up, this was the spicy California roll, but I ate it all on the way home. So for all of that at Sam's, it was a total of $200. Right, you guys, that's gonna do it for all of the cleaning motivation. I hope you guys enjoyed that fridge deep clean plus my grocery haul. It feels so good to have my fruits and veggies prepped and ready to go. It honestly makes it so much easier to grab something healthy when you're in a rush. So I love taking the time to do that. I often put it off because it does take a little time, but it is definitely worth the effort. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It really does support my channel. And if you haven't yet, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family. I do upload every three days and often throw in bonus videos. So be sure to have that notification bell on so you know when I am posting next. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.